Welcome back. I hope you're having a great week. If you are new here, my name is Jessica Abella. I am a tax professional here in the greater Seattle area. And today we are going to talk about keeping receipts. So uh, there's a separate video for if you are a business owner, but this one is talking about personal receipts. So the first, the big question is, do I need to keep receipts? And the answer, which is very common in tax, is it depends. If you're deducting it on a tax return, the answer is yes, you need to keep it. Um, the IRS can go back three years to audit. In cir some circumstances, they can go back an additional three years. So we generally say to just keep everything for seven years. One thing to note, I am a tax professional, and so this advice is uh, from a tax perspective. There may be other reasons that you would want to keep uh, certain receipts. So just keep that in mind as we go. So some examples of things that you would need to keep receipts for. Um, if you are an educator and you took the educator expense deduction, keep those receipts. Uh, if you're deducting childcare, keep those receipts. Um, if you're deducting donations, those receipts are very important. Um, if you are deducting gambling losses because you had winnings, that documentation, very important. If you are taking the energy credit, you purchased an EV, you replaced windows, doors, insulation, certain HVAC systems, um, definitely keep those as well. Solar. Um, medical receipts, you only need to keep if you deducted uh, those expenses. So if you check your Schedule A on your tax return and see that your medical expenses were actually used in that calculation, then you would want to keep them. In most cases, that's not the case. Um, if you are deducting your actual sales tax expenses, which also we haven't seen as much in recent years, um, but if you are using those deductions, you would want to make sure to keep that proof um, with your records. So what about home improvements? Yes, you want to keep these as well, but you want to keep them longer. So if you have done a remodel, um, done an addition, uh, renovations, anything that's basically permanent uh, upgrade to your property, you want to keep those receipts, not just for the seven years, but for that seven years after you've sold the home, because that will factor into the calculation on uh, your profit on the home when you sell it. So keep those essentially forever. Um, you will also want to keep the receipts for fixing up the property in the year of sale. So uh, if before you sell it, you um, paint it and put flowers out front and uh, do other things to make it look nice that aren't improvements, but do help you get a better sales price on that property, keep those also um, until that seven year mark after you sell the property. Um, repairs and maintenance, not so much. Um, so those don't count in your basis of the property. They're generally not deductible as well, except potentially in a home office uh, deduction situation if you have a business. So speaking of that, what about everything else? If you do have a business, um, your, our separate video addresses most of it, but um, in talking about your household expenses, your personal expenses, um, you may need to keep your home utility bills, uh, cell phone bills, and vehicle related expenses that personally don't really matter, but may matter um, in relation to your business tax return and that home office deduction. Uh, so keep those in mind. Um, but if not those and the rest of your general grocery and shopping and, and everything else, you really don't need to keep them for tax purposes. So you again, you may need to keep them for some other reasons, um, perhaps residency or, or I don't know, there may be other reasons to keep those receipts. Um, but for tax purposes, they're not benefiting you on the tax return, so you don't need to produce them in an audit. Um, the question of if you have to keep paper copies, no, an electronic is easier to uh, to go back and refer to later. So just make sure that if you are scanning them, keeping electronic copies of your receipts, make sure that they are backed up in a way that if you are audited, you can retrieve them later. Very important. 
So any questions, whether that's about this video or um, anything else, feel free to put it in the comments down below and we will address them in future videos. Um, feel free to like the video if it was helpful to you. Um, subscribe if you'd like to be notified of the next video or feel free to go to abellatax.com and subscribe for our weekly email newsletter as well. I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you back here next week.